Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, uh, welcome you all to studentscholar.com. Today we are going to discuss uh, backward selection method uh, in the biostatistics. Uh, these are the references given for this methodology which have been used by uh, these uh, scientist uh, scholars in their papers in, as a methodology. So uh, back, uh, backward selection method uh, is uh, normally used uh, in order to get uh, a best fitted model for your analysis. Uh, if you are going to associate some traits with the other factors, uh, so you need a best fitted model for your interpretation uh, in order to get the significant values. Uh, what is backward selection method? Uh, simply we can say that it is an approach in which the non-significant factors are removed one by one from the model and only the significant factors are left there so when you get all the significant factors there and it define on your value that uh, what confidence uh, level you are going to select uh, in today's study i have uh, select 95 percent confidence level and you can say the 65 percent the significance value uh, okay now we are going to select but to one point you should keep in mind that the non-significant factors are removed one after the other uh, it's mean that the factor having the highest uh, p-value must be remain uh, removed and uh, in the second step uh, you should remove the uh, second largest and uh, so on uh, now I am going to tell you that how will you get uh, analyze this data so for uh, your analysis and for your convenience I have selected many tape uh, for uh, the analysis uh, at different on you that which statistical software you are going to use uh, but in my opinion main tape is very simple and uh, uh, very easy for the beginners uh, those who are just starting uh, for their statistical analysis for different studies uh, main tape is very simple and easy so let's get started state regression and for regression best fitted model uh, here you should consider your response that which picture you are going to uh, study for for example here I'm uh, going to check the factor 2 for my analysis that which other factors uh, are going to are going to uh, check these are uh, significant or not so I am going to check this decision so these are two uh, icons for continuous and for categorical variable and you must know that what are continuous uh, you must differentiate among these as well so I selected read for continuous I am selecting the age which I have taken in years okay here and another category can be for example, uh, I am taking the surety and for continuous variable, for example, uh, I am taking the eight. Now go to OK. Uh, here you can see that in a table all the factors uh, which you are going to uh, uh, remove or keep in the model it will show all uh, in this the age is non significant weight is significant and b is significant while sharing season is also non significant the beauty of the best backward selection method uh, is that that in this model you will see that uh, age is non significant and sharing seasons are non significant so in backward selection method you should remove first of all this from your model and uh, for the coefficient you should go later on so now we are going to uh, remove the non-significant factor from our analysis in order to get the best fitted model so age is the non-significant factor so remove this 
repeat the same process here you will see that the two significant factors already but this significance value has changed here uh, there it was uh, 0 0.072 but here it has been decreased uh, so these factors uh, uh, intercorrelated and this is a uh, change the value of the significance and now you can also see that shearing season is also non-significant okay remove this as well Now you can see that only the significant factor remained here and this is your model, significant model. These are the other values if you are going to, we will discuss some time later. And here you can see that where it is significant, it was continuous, variable, so only single value. While the breed has the four categories uh, in uh, many chairs or in linear regression the lower value uh, I have the reference value I have coded it by zero so uh, these three values these uh, have been shown here while the fourth one has not shown because that is a reference value so uh, here we can see that the factor 2 was significant the not significant fourth is not significant but as a whole breed is significant it means that weight and breed is significantly associated with the factor. Which factor? Factor 2 which we have selected. And if um, you can interpret this uh, that these two factors 3 and 4 are not significantly related with the reference value while the factor uh, the breed second it is uh, significantly different from the reference value or if you are going further you can also remove these vector from uh, your model but for this you have to go inside the data and remove the values of these two breeds and you will get uh, but this is the best better model for your analysis for it 